Hey everyone, it's Gilbert289. This is my 28-gallon uh, JBJ Nano Cube, and today is the first day of my cycle. I have added uh, 25 pounds of Bulk Resupply Eco Saber Rock, and I added two pounds of Fiji Live Rock from a store, official fish store. These are the few pieces here. It's a piece here, and a few on the back side. Got one up here, and there's a few pieces on this corner back here. Everything's looking well. I checked my water parameters today. Uh, ammonia is 0 0.25, and uh, so the nitri nitrifying cycle has begun. And uh, I used some of this to kind of kickstart it as well. I don't know if you can see it. Let me turn my light on here. It has um, nitrifying bacteria in it already. So what I'm going to do is I dose this one just to kind of get it going. I'll probably add a little bit more tomorrow. But um, I'm going to at least run the tank for at least a week, maybe two. And uh, I'm going to check my parameters, of course, until everything's at the right levels. Ammonia zero, nitrite zero, nitrate, you know, pretty low. Then I'll probably do a uh, about a 95% water change, add fresh water in, and then I'll add my uh, cleanup crew, and then the uh, first fish or whatever. So just wanted to give you a quick update. I have noticed that some micro bubbles are coming in from the return nozzles here. Kind of mess with the back a little bit, but uh, it's, I don't know, it fixed it, fixed it a little bit, and then it seems to not be throwing out too many now, so I guess it's better than anything, but it's kind of annoying. I just have uh, everything stock in here, haven't really messed with anything. Here's how the back looks. The overflow comes in right here into a drip. Uh filter media basket and you have your sponge on top there's ceramic rings in the middle and then you got your uh, uh, carbon at the bottom and I'll probably be changing this out I have Kimmy Pure Elite right now and I'm going to be changing it out once the tank cycled I'm going to put that in and uh, the water comes in here goes underneath comes into this chamber here this sponge I believe is for bubbles to catch bubbles in other parts uh, debris that's past the first sponge you get your return pump right there and then your goes to your return nozzle and it's the same way on both sides and I'm probably going to throw in some uh, extra rubble rock that came with my rock just down here this whole compartment is open all the way on both sides so just add some more filtration it's kind of I don't know if you could see but it's all open back here this all this part here all the way to the other side this is the middle area where the the basket's at. And I'll give you a quick look at the lighting. So we got uh, 105 watts. We got the uh, daylight and the actinic. One thing I don't like about this aquarium is you don't have an option to pick uh, which one you want at the same time, uh, or excuse me, which one you want at each time. This is just a constant on of both lights. And then it does come with four LED moonlights on the sides here for nighttime viewing. And those are real nice looking. Uh, I'm going to pause the video and I'll show you how that looks on the aquarium. Okay, this is with the uh, four LED, LED moonlights on. Um, and they kind of illuminate every single corner, which is nice. Gives a nice uh, viewing to the tank at night. So that's it. Day one of the cycling of uh, the tank. And everything's looking good so far. Talk to you later.